Hello Virgo, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how you feel about each other. As always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Virgo watching. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, you can also check out your playlist. I have a whole playlist just for Virgo. And it'll be linked up in the cards and pinned in the comments if you want to check it out and see if a reading there resonates for you. All right, spirits, angels, guides, messages for Virgo, please. What does Virgo need to know? Okay. Judgment call. Decision, knowledge, logic. Judgment calls being made using logic and reason. And time out. Timing, patience, waiting. Time is of the essence. Someone's um, feeling like they need to make a decision and fast about something. Oh, probably about the past because I have past life at the bottom of the deck here. This could be you or your person because this is what's going on in your connection or the mutual energies at this time. Uh, this reading will be for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind. Any other messages for Virgo? What's going on for them in love right now, Spirit? What's going on for them in love? Official person. Okay, so this could be a legal situation for some of you. Or someone in a position of authority this could be like a supervisor or something yeah adjudication this could be a legal matter or some sort of official decision we have change and journey yeah and I feel like someone's go gonna be going through some changes here maybe making a move a physical move or traveling okay let's see what deck do I want to use Let's use the vice versa. All of the decks that I'm using are linked in the description box, along with anything else that you want to know about my website, my book, personal readings, all of that is going to be in the description box. So give me some insight into what's going on for Virgo in love. Does Virgo need to know? What's going on for them in love at this time? Okay, we have the King of Swords and the Death card. Wow. Scorpio energy with the Death card. Definitely changes are happening. Possibly the an ending here of a cycle. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with this uh, King of Swords. King of Swords doesn't play. I feel like this is a very logical decision. Tell me about this King of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign as well. King of Cups. Okay. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. Tell me about this King of Swords. Six of Swords. Yeah. Okay. So... There's definitely something happening with departures here. A move. This could be a physical move for some of you. I feel like someone's listening to their heart here, but being smart about it. Tell me about the King of Swords. Four of Pentacles. Mm. Maybe this is someone saving their money, holding back, holding on to something. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Emperor, holy crap, Aries energy. So this is, a, um, I'm, I'm feeling someone's being very conservative here. Thinking of themselves, thinking of finances regarding this move. Tell me about the death card. This could be you or your person, by the way. Tell me about the death card. I just did the card here, Spirit. Eight of Swords, Reverse. Someone's no longer letting fear holding them back. 
Wow, two of cups. This is regarding a partnership. Breaking free of a partnership? Yeah, three of swords. Bottom of the deck, eight of cups. Someone here could be walking away from a partnership or um, breaking free of fear, heartbreak. Seven of cups on the other side. So options, choices, decisions. Someone's choosing a cup. I feel like this change, this ending will be difficult with the three of swords. But I'm getting the sense that someone's very um, decided. Like they know what they want to do and why. Can we get one more, please? The hermit, yeah. Someone I feel knows where they're headed. It's very interesting. There you are, Virgo, showing up to your own reading. Someone really thought about this. So let's see, that's what's going on in a connection or that's going on in your connection right now. There could be someone leaving this connection in particular or another connection and it's affecting this connection. Um, this could be that someone is um, moving. You know, it doesn't have to be a separation. Tell me more about Virgo and their person. Tell me more about Virgo, please. What do we need to know about Virgo? What do we need to know about Virgo? Okay, we got the whale energy for you. Someone with a lot of depth. Someone with a lot of life experiences, wisdom. Tell me about their person. Cheetah. This is someone making a move, moving fast, moving quickly, taking action. Spirit. Actually, I want to get more. Um, tell me about Virgo. Tell me about Virgo. Okay, Virgo, we have unhealthy attachment, bonds, toxicity, codependency, and moving forward. Okay. That's a very clear message right there. Okay. This could be um, you moving forward from unhealthy attachments or when you're thinking of your person, this is what you're thinking of them doing. Tell me about Virgo's person. About Virgo's person. Wow, coming together, reunion, destiny meeting. So this person, they're focused on coming together. Maybe they wanna take some sort of action this is there's definitely a connection here but I find it odd it could be that you are ready to move on and this person isn't this person wants look at that the two of cups right there um, this person wants to be together but I'm not picking that up it's almost like you're moving on to meet with this person I don't know we'll see tell me more for Virgo. Sorry, give me some more clarity, please. Tell me about Virgo. Virgo, you have the Knight of Cups. Else for Virgo. 
Oh my God, the Two of Cups. See, there's something going on here. And it's good. It's like an offer of love coming in or you already know who you love. What's going on with these two energies? Spirit, tell me more about these two energies, the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. Eight of Swords reverse again. Tell me more about these two energies, please, for Virgo. Now, Virgo, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip it. Yeah, this is someone who is wanting to move fast, is no longer being held back by fear about what their mind is telling them, is breaking free and like rushing to communicate or rushing to, I don't know, it's like some sort of truth has come in that helps them escape this mental prison they were in. Hang on. Can I get one more, please? For this Knight of Cups and Two of Cups. Five of Cups. Hmm. So you have regrets, or there's something to do with the past here, past mistakes, missing something in your life. Feeling remorse. You could be apologizing to someone or someone could be apologizing to you. I feel like um, all of this is leading back to the past because you had passed in when I first took out the two cards here from my Solar Energy Oracle deck, there was the past life. So it's like it was connected to the past in some way. There has been some sort of mistakes that you've made, but I feel like you don't want those mistakes to hold you back. Let's see, what about your person? Tell me about Virgo's person. Tell me about this person. Virgo's doing this. What do I need to know about this person? What do I need to know about this person? The moon reverse, Pisces energy. We need to know about this person. Wow. Well, there's some sort of clarity or truth coming to the surface here with the moon reverse and the sun. Something's going to be out in the open, clear as day. Yeah, and probably this is going to be in the form of communication with the Page of Swords. This person wants to tell you something. They want to talk to you. And for some reason, this is going to be like some sort of a reveal. Tell me about the Moon Reverse. Why is the Moon Reverse? Okay, we have the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and then these two almost came out of the deck, the Hermit and the Star, Virgo and Aquarius energy. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Uh, interesting whatever this reveal is whatever uh, this could be somebody that makes a very public decision or um, or something comes to the light some sort of communication happens I feel like it might there might be some sort of conflict here Tell me more about the Five of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Can I get one more, please? 
Yeah. This person could be wanting to fix whatever. Yeah. Temperance. Temperance and Six of Pentacles. All about balance. Sagittarius energy. The having equal give and take. Something being right. Balanced with the scales here. I feel like this is a decision someone has made. Your person. What's this page of swords? About what's this? Nine of Pentacles. This person is watching you, admiring you, wanting to talk about, I don't know, you for some reason. Oh, they, <laughs> I feel like this person is free, independent of something. The devil reversed the tower reverse. Maybe they want to tell you what's happened in their life to bring them to this point. Hmm, they're debating. Maybe they're debating, they're, they're trying to, okay. Give me one more. Five, okay, they're worried about, um, they feel that you might be the one that will go back and forth about them. I feel like I'm getting two messages here. Either this person knows what you are worth and maybe they fear that you will not accept them and what they have to offer at this time but i feel like they really want to talk to you and it's almost like they want to talk to you honestly you know to clear the air have everything out in the open and you know because of that there's this kind of like fear that you will reject them others of you i feel like this person is debating whether to even approach you. I think they've been out in the cold for a while. There probably has not been communication between you and they fear that maybe talking to you will do more harm than good. What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Virgo? What are they thinking or feeling? Spirit, when it comes to Virgo, thinking or feeling. I feel guilty. What do they think you're feeling? I'm struggling. I made a mistake at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so that's why they want to balance something out. That makes sense. Can I get one more? Oh. I desire you. Okay. That nine of pentacles does make sense. If that's what they really want. This person could be in an official capacity or there's someone official, like in a, something to do with the government or legal or an office, or maybe this is place of employment. I feel like there's someone that's going to be making some sort of decision, like an official decision will be made. And I think that someone's been waiting for this in order to move forward here, take some sort of action. I think this is someone that you care about, Virgo. Um, and I think you both wanna to talk to each other. I just don't know why that hasn't happened because I feel like it hasn't. I feel like this person hasn't decided whether to open up this Pandora's box. So, Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. If it did, leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings and want to see more from me. Uh, thank you again to anybody that continues to watch the readings and supports the channel. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in a reading, another reading very soon. Take care.